Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today, as usual, man. You guys know the deal on this channel. We must continue to set the record straight. Stop the lies. Stop the narratives, right? Stop them from rewriting history. We must continue to do this, guys. Hold these guys to a standard. And in this video, we're going to talk about LeBron James and how he was carried to a win last night over the Oklahoma City Thunder by his teammates, his bum teammates, and the referees once again giving the Lakers their free throw advantage, right? You know that they were going to get their free throws eventually. We talked about in this video, guys, briefly. And I want to thank you guys, everyone across the world, everyone across the states that's been supporting my channel, guys. Truly, truly humbling. Shout out to everybody out there, man. Shout out to all the other YouTubers, man. Uh, Dreamers Pro, uh, Uncut Hoops, Uncommon Sense, uh, Too Raw for Sports, Michael Jordan fans are the best. Shout out to all you guys, man. Uh, Scap Attack. Shout out to all you guys out there doing your thing, man. Represent LeBron versus uh, Jordan versus LeBron. Just all the channels that's doing their thing. My man, Retro Heat Check. Shout out to all you guys. We must continue to stand up. Set the record straight. Uh, Brandon loves sports TV. All you guys out there, man, for real. Much respect to you guys. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, man, once again, LeBron James is carried by his teammates that they were trying to trade um, not even a month or so ago. They were trying to trade D'Angelo Russell and these other guys. And LeBron James has been carried by them last night. Carried by Anthony Davis, D'Angelo Russell, and his role players. The referees. They helped, once again, the Lakers get a win over an Oklahoma City Thunder team. Now, this win is a quality win on paper. Absolutely, the Thunder are one of the better teams in the Western Conference. Right, they have one of the best players in the league, right? Shea uh, Gilgis Alexander. So shout out to, to OKC. So when you think about it, like, oh man, the Lakers got a good win. Once again, I've told you guys though, what's the problem for the Lakers this season? The consistency. This is my word of the year. It's the word of the Lakers this season. The lack of consistency. So they lost their last game. Now they win this game. But there's one thing we must remember about this win over OKC last night. If you guys recall, OKC was on the second half of a back-to-back. -back. They played the Phoenix Suns the night before, guys, in Phoenix. So now they're road-weary. They travel to L.A. now to play a game against the Los Angeles Lakers in L.A. After they're on a, a second half of a back-to-back, -back, and the Lakers are resting for two days. So when we think about that aspect and you watch the game, you can see that the Oklahoma City Thunder, they were a little weary. They didn't seem to have the same you know, punch the same energy that they normally did, right? SGA was a little bit off. A lot of those guys were off, right? They want to say have a back-to-back. -back. We get it. There's no excuses. But remember, if this would have been the Lakers, right, and they were on the second half of a back-to-back -back, and they got beat, people would be saying, well, the Lakers are on the second half of a back-to-back. -back. OKC was resting. They were at home. I told you guys, the Lakers are a decent team at home, but they're not a good team because they can't run on the road. You can't be a good team or a great team and you can't win on the road, right? So they, they win in L.A. Once again, I'm not impressed with the Lakers' schedule over the, last, over, the, over the next couple of weeks. I'm not impressed. They have a lot of home games coming up, a lot of games in California. But once again, the wins and losses are not as important as the facts, as it relates to LeBron James and his teammates. Remember, they were trying to trade D'Angelo Russell. This man was like almost brought to tears. Because everyone kept asking about the trade rumors. Now, all of a sudden, D'Angelo Russell can't do no wrong. Had a great game last night, right? Outscored LeBron James again. Well, LeBron James have 17 points, 19 points, whatever it was. And his teammates stepped up for him. They helped him out. But I've told you the problem is the lack of consistency for his teammates, right? Which makes the Lakers inconsistent. Because LeBron James continues to play differently. He's inconsistent. Dominates the ball. So some games, he's shooting 24 times a game. Some games, he shoots 17 times. Sometimes 19. Sometimes 15. Sometimes he's dribbling the air of the ball. Sometimes he may not be. It's inconsistent. Right? This is why Anthony Davis has 40 points one game, then 17 points the other game. These guys are not consistent with LeBron James. 
but they never point at him. They point at his teammates. You blame the role players for not being consistent? The role players are role players. That's why they're role players, because they're not consistent. But LeBron James, as the leader, is supposed to help them be consistent by giving them the confidence. Remember, I've told you guys, role players need confidence. They don't need you to pass the ball to them when they're wide open. They need you to give confidence in them or instill confidence in them. They need to know you believe in them, that you're not going to scapegoat them or blame them for missing shots. Right? You're not going to hold them responsible. You're going to take the burden off of them. LeBron James has never done this. So our teammates are inconsistent. They never know what's going to happen. The reaction. Is LeBron James going to walk off early today? Is LeBron James going to load match today? Is he going to shoot 25 times in this game? Is he going to flop around? Is he going to miss a bunch of free throws? But this is the Lakers season, guys. So they win a game last night. Good win. Let's see what they can do. Can they follow it up with another win? Can they win? I told you. Let me know when the Lakers can win five, six, seven, eight games in a row. Even my New York Knicks won nine games in a row this season. Nine. And their best player is Brunson. Jalen Brunson, their best player. The Lakers have Andy Davis and LeBron James, and they cannot win more than three games in a row, guys. They couldn't do it. Haven't done this season. So once again, let me know when the Lakers are consistent. The Lakers got their advantage in the free throws. I believe they shot six or seven more free throws than Oklahoma City last night. Not a huge discrepancy, but it's an advantage nonetheless. Right? When LeBron James cries about not getting a certain amount of free throws, and we laugh at him because the Lakers are clearly getting help free throw-wise, but personal foul calls against them. And last night was more the same. And like I told you guys, OKC was on a second half of a back-to-back, just played a game against the Phoenix Suns the night before. So I'm not giving any props to a win in March over OKC on a second half of a back-to-back. This isn't the beginning of the season, right? A September or October or November game, they had a back-to-back, right? There would be a little bit less cause for excuse. But when you're in March, right, the dog days of March, the season's winding down, the last, what, 20 games of the season, and you're on a second half of a back-to-back this late in the season, yeah, you might be a little weary. So the Lakers got him at home. Once again, I'm not impressed. Not impressed. Because once again, LeBron James was being carried by his teammates that they keep telling us are not good. Because what's going to happen, guys? The Lakers are going to make the play in. And whatever happens in the postseason happens. The Lakers don't win. What are they going to say? LeBron James didn't have enough help. They'll blame Anthony Davis. They'll fire Darvin Ham. Meanwhile, we could point to these kinds of games where all these guys have helped. They've been a help. Hachimura stepping up. D'Angelo Russell stepping up. Austin Reeves. All these guys have stepped up. Anthony Davis. They're all playing minutes. Jackson Hayes. But when it all crumbles and falls apart, they're going to say, LeBron didn't have no help. It's his teammates' fault. You guys want to deal, man. So, once again, I'm not impressed with the Lakers' win because it goes for more of the same that I've been telling you. It's not consistent. We'll celebrate when they win some games in a row. When they can win some road games in a row. Can't do it. Can't do it. Remember, the good and great teams are, are, are able to win on the road consistently. The Lakers have a negative point differential on the season, guys. I believe they're the only team in the Western Conference that's in the play-in that has a negative plus-minus differential. I, th- I think they're the only team. That's inconsistency. So, yes, you guys know the deal. LeBron James, we don't respect this man. We'll never cheer for him. We'll never respect him because, once again, they win after his teammates that they were bashing all season helped and carried him to a win. Will LeBron James give his teammates any credit? No. Will the media give his teammates any credit? No. Because of the first sign of things going wrong, they're blaming these guys. They're never blaming LeBron James. And I told you, this is why I'll never respect him or his, or the media or any of his fans. They never hold him to a standard. They never hold him accountable. All they do is give excuses. And LeBron James and Lakers win last night means absolutely nothing. It's another win after a loss.
Yo, man, he beat OKC. Oh, he did. He did. LeBron did. Andy Davis was out there doing his thing, shutting down Holmgren, shutting down OKC. Remember, LeBron James is playing with one of the great defensive players in the league. No matter what they want to say about Anthony Davis and his, his frailty, his soft body, when he's on the court, he's the best player on the team. The other guys chipped in and helped out, man. But they never want to give LeBron James' teammates any credit. They're too concerned about other, other players' teammates. <sighs> so you guys know, man. Once again, let me know when the Lakers do something, anything consistent. They're fighting for the 10th spot, guys. Remember, if there was no playing, LeBron James and Lakers would be struggling to make the playoffs. Once again, LeBron James being, uh, being uh, propped up and carried by the NBA with this corny playing. If you guys remember also, I'm going to end it on this. LeBron James criticized the play-in. Remember, when the play-in first came about, LeBron James said, well, I don't know what stupid uh, guy came with this idea. Remember, he called him stupid and dumb. That's what he said. But this will be the third year that LeBron James has benefited from the play-in. But he was against the play-in. Without the play-in, the Lakers' 10-year, LeBron James... Think about it. Without the play-in tournament, guys, LeBron James' tenure in the Lakers is abysmal. They never made the playoffs. His first year, they didn't do anything, right? They had the bubble the second year. Then they got bounced down the first round, right, after making the play-in. Then the next year, they didn't make the playoffs, right, when it's a super-duper stacked team they told us to keep the same energy for. Then the year after that, they were in the play-in, right? Last year, they were in the play-in. And now this season. So what are we talking about here? Once again, LeBron James being inconsistent in L.A., the way he's always been in L.A., the way his teams have always been. Every LeBron James team is inconsistent. The only semblance of consistency he's ever shown his career was when? When he was in Miami, guys. It's the only time. The only time. And once again, the Los Angeles Lakers do not look consistent to me, and I'm not impressed. All the people that people would, all the LeBron James teammates that they were trashing, all the ones supporting him now. All the ones doing the work. These are the, these are the guys covering for LeBron James on defense. When he's standing around, they're the ones playing for him, covering for his mistakes, covering for his liability. Guys like Anthony Davis, covering for him. So all the Laker fans out there, man, once again, you guys are in purgatory. You're fighting for the playing, and your leader is not a leader. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.